As you know, we have got the full-scale engineering development approval in April 2024. And this development phase will continue for 10 years because we have just started our development uh, journey. And we expect that this aircraft will be uh, touching the sky towards the end of the 2028. Fifth generation, when you say it's a stealth, they, it essentially comes from the one is from the shaping. The shape itself is entirely a different uh, shape compared to the fourth generation aircraft. The second important feature is that the moment you say still, the weapons and all have to be carried internally. Nothing should be seen outside. Because the moment you carry the weapons outside, it becomes a non stealth So that is why we have a, something called the internal weapon bay, where weapons can be carried internally in the stealth mission. This is one of the key technology. The second key technology is that none of the antennas will be uh, protruding out. Everything is a conformal antennas. This is the second technology. The third technology will be the diverterless supersonic intake where the serpentine duct it, it, it is there. It will mask the engine face. The radars cannot be able to see the engine face. Serpentine duct with DSI is a, another key important technology. Apart from this, the stealth is being achieved by shaping number one, supported by the radar absorbing structures for which a special materials have to be developed that with the help of the DRDO labs and CSIR labs, indigenously we have developed it and we have achieved a high technology readiness level with those materials. We have fabricated our some of the components where you, we are demonstrating it here. You can see that a lot of ground testing has already been done and we have very high confidence on these uh, stealth materials. See, as far as the capabilities and then futures are concerned, it will be at par with any other first generation fighter aircraft in the world. That much confident that we have got because we know the what are all the technologies that we are implementing in this particular aircraft. And we have also incorporating what is called the electronic pilot which will be uh, and this aircraft will be useful in this net centric war, will be participating in the net centric warfare environment. That electronic support with lot of decision aids and all will help the pilot to achieve it as a, a real 5 plus generation aircraft.